I'm sure you're watching this video because you want to keep track of a positive or start to track a negative habit as you go across your day. Maybe you want to cull the negative habit or promote the positive habit with some habit tracking abilities. Well, there are loads of apps out there and today I've picked some of the best habit trackers eight in particular that I think you may like. All of them will be listed below and today's video is kindly sponsored by Sunsama. If you are looking for a powerful way to plan your week in a more mindful manner, then I would check out Sunsama. You'll find it linked below. I used it for many years and think it's a fantastic application. I'll put a little bit more about it later in this video. So the first app on my list is called Habitify. Now, the reason why I like this one is it's because it's the best cross-platform habit tracker on the market. It comes at a really reasonable price with a really approachable lifetime pricing as well as a decent monthly pricing and the application has that perfect combination between being a solid habit tracker for negative habits but also for very good ones it has streaks analytics and breakdowns, and it does have a generous free plan of free habits to kick you off but all in all this application is great because it's available across all devices so once you have an account if you decide to move to an android or over to a mac it doesn't matter because that information will travel with you. Now, this is great because it just means it's widely acceptable and it doesn't worry too much whether you're locked into a certain platform. Now, I just find all of the features really approachable, easy. So I'd say this is probably the best all rounder and one that is just simple in nature, doesn't have any specific features that go into one level of detail like gamification and things like that, but at the same time does just a great job. So the second one on my list is called Habitica. Now, this one is a game based habit tracker and people like this because you can create a character and start collecting gems, armor, and even other characters around that character. You can use Habitica not only as a habit tracker, but as a task management platform, allowing you to use list-based tracking, reminders, and also the ability to move stuff between each board, a little bit like you would in Kanban, in apps like Trello, which is really helpful. But the difference with this is every time you complete a task or a habit, you get XP towards your total score. You can then spend that XP on things in the ecosystem, uh, new worlds, new outfits, Fits, new armor and you can collaborate with friends now there is a premium which unlocks more abilities but it doesn't unlock the basics in terms of getting started and using the application with unlimited habit tracking which is great for those who want to make things fun when it comes to habit tracking especially those with adhd and those who want to be able to gamify their habits and bring that into play it also has a mobile app and it's really approachable so are you enjoying this video again you can check out all the apps in the link in the description if you're interested and if you're new to this channel do subscribe because we've got loads of videos as well as a, a site called toolfinder.co which you'll find loads of different apps much more than habit trackers find it linked below so my third recommendation has to be gripply and it's a relatively new application on the market i checked it out probably about three or four months ago and i initially thought oh this is cool it's a task management app but it's also a habit tracker a goal tracker and a way to manage your own personal projects and the reason why i like the application is because it's got a good way to track habits that has all the statistics in these little widget type experiences which is really nice but you can see those habits alongside a goal that you may be tracking. So if one of your goals is to lose weight, particular number that you have in mind, like, I don't know, this month I'm trying to get to 88 kilos, let's see. But that goal can then be tracked and those habits can be connected to that goal. So you can have multiple habits connected to a goal, which means that, for example, if I need to do meditation once a time a week to or good quality sleep, then I can track those habits and associate them to a healthy goal that I have in mind. So again, a really nice way of doing it and it's from an approachable pricing. I believe it's $30 per year, all access to the application, but you can access it for free naturally with I think some limits to how much you have in terms of tasks, habits, and goals. So today's video is sponsored by Sansama. Sansama is a powerful, mindful task management software, and it's really popular for those who want to stand back and plan their day more effectively. There's guided planning, reflection upon each of the days that you complete, and great systems in place to help you focus, but also make sure you're not stuffing your calendar and task management with lots and lots of tasks. So check out Sansama below, and thanks for those guys for sponsoring today's video. So if you're looking for even more fun, there's one called Not Boring Habits and it's a really fun iOS app that is part of a suite of fun iOS apps. This one's really cool because you can track your habits in this very much gamified experience. Now I really like how it's done because you can start 
um, to collect things. And one thing I really like about No Boring Habits is you can essentially use the app to tick things off. And as you do them, there's a real gamification and feeling of achievement when you actually do it. The app sort of explodes and makes it more fun, but you can also achieve uh, these little uh, sort of summits, campsite and things like that. These are little sort of medals as you go along the process. You can also see stuff really visually in this app, meaning you can see exactly how many days you completed a habit, keep track of your streaks, and there's so much more inside of the premium, which is unlocking other apps too. I believe it's something like $49 a year, but you get four or five different apps as part of that with their premiums too. So again, it's well worth consideration, but it really tries to make the habits fun on iOS. So number five is one that I reviewed a fair time ago. It's called Everyday Habits. I really like it. I think one of the reasons why I like it is because it comes on Chrome and every time you open a new tab, it's there, which means that it's front to center if you're somebody that struggles with making sure you track your habits every single day. Now, in my opinion, Opinion, it's not the most visually attractive. It's good visually in terms of being able to see how you can progress, sort of a bit like GitHub commits, being able to see that visual uh, chart of how you've completed per day. It's really nice, but it's not necessarily attractive. You can add these habits in, and what's nice is you can see this progress that you do across a year. However, it does have a limited free plan, I believe. I think you only get a certain amount of habits to track at one time, a bit like a Bitify. But at the same time, I really like it for that Chrome tab, and that's a really unique perspective. They also have an iOS app. It's not particularly the best, but it works and it's functional. So if you're looking for something that's approachable, but more from a I want it here in front of me perspective, then this is a good tool. So number six is a software called Streaks. It's available on iOS. Um, I don't think they have an Android app from my memory, uh, but I'll include it if it does. But Streaks is one of these apps that is a one-time download, which means you can pay, I believe it's $1.99 for the app. Then you get access to tracking that habit and seeing a visual progress of each streak that you collect. Now, I quite like the app because it's sort of like a speed dial. You see all your habits in one view and you can click when you completed them. So simple, so easy. And I remember downloading it from Starbucks when it first came out as a free download. That's how long the app's been out for. And it just is a reliable staple app on the App Store. So if you're looking for an iOS centric, easy to use speed dial like habit tracker, this could be one with a good credible history. So number seven is TickTick. Now, a lot of people know this one as a task management app, but it's actually got habit tracker inside of it. And what a lot of people might like is a bit like Gripply, being able to manage your tasks and then being able to manage your habits in one location is really nice. The iOS apps and the Android apps allow you to track the habits in a really fun way that makes feeling uh, completion feel successful. And you can see how many check-ins did per day and which habits are successfully going in. Now, overall, in my opinion, it's probably not the best dedicated habit tracker, but at the same time, if you're not looking for that or just want something to bolt on to a more reliable task management system, then this could be your application. This app also has a really good approachable premium pricing that offers a lot more as part of the package. So it's well worth considering if you're somebody that wants that whole productivity system. So my eighth application and final one on the list is called Awesome Habits. It's part of SetApp subscription. I believe it's only available on iOS and Mac. It connects to your Apple Health and allows you to keep track of your habits. It's nothing crazy, nothing overwhelming, but the packaging is as good, in my opinion, as Sabitify, and it's part of the set app subscription, which a lot of people like, because if you don't have a set app subscription, basically they bundle 260 apps into one subscription, and you can basically go from there. So another really reliable one, and as you can see by the screen, it has some nice, simple structure to it, allowing you to track, capture the good habits and the bad ones. So if you're watching this video and you think I missed one, or maybe you're just wanting to brown more, it's probably because they're over on Tool Finder. We can't include all of the apps as you can imagine, but we've got hundreds of more apps and probably dozens of more habit trackers over there easily. So do check it out in the link in description, as well as all the links to these apps below. Share what apps you used in the comments below and do like this video and subscribe if you're new. Thanks so much for stopping by and hopefully you can track your habits easily every single day. Thanks very much and see you soon.